Hey everyone, this is Ross. I'm in the greenhouse today and um, I'm doing something really important in here. Now that it's the spring, uh, now that uh, things are awake, and in particular my fig trees are awake, um, this is a really important step that any of you guys can take. Um, this mainly applies to uh, container figs, but it can also apply to in-ground figs that are mid-sized to small. You know, um, if you live in like California and you have a giant fig tree, this is not going to apply to you. But this is going to apply to everybody else who has a mid-sized fig tree um, to a small-sized fig tree. This is like one of the most important things that I do all year and I want to share it with you guys. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys why in a second. But what I'm doing here is that I'm going across each fig uh, in the greenhouse. I've already done this to all the figs outside. Um, I left my pruning shears. Damn it. But um, what I'm doing here is that I'm going to take off any of the new growth that I don't want. So I'm going to take a look at all these trees individually. I know my trees. I spend lots of time with my trees. I know what they can handle in terms of um, in terms of how strong they are, how many figs they can put out. That's very important to know, especially when you're dealing with such a small containered um, plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these particular varieties, and we're going to make a judgment call as to whether or not this particular tree, as an example, can handle two different limbs. You know, this is. This limb came out this year and this limb came out this year. It was a single stem plant. I had grafted it. You can see the graft right in there. Not a bad graft. Pretty good union here. This particular variety can certainly handle these two limbs. But sometimes we have trees that put out so many limbs that uh, so many new you know, growth points. Like as an example, this one right here we have one limb coming out here, one here, one down here, you know, one down here. And these are not coming out yet, but let's just say as an example, they did one down here. That's five limbs. This is way too many limbs. So I'm coming in here today and I'm just going around and I'm kind of selecting which limbs I want to grow. So uh, this, this one has, this branch has three different limbs on it. This is a 25 gallon size tree. Um, this is Italian 258 that I got from a friend of mine. Quite a large tree. I've limited it to, uh, looks like five limbs. And five limbs is a great size for this tree to then start branching out on. Um, and we're gonna branch out um, on a couple of these. So I'm probably gonna actually air layer this for my friend. Perhaps one of these limbs, I think he wants me to air layer, but the other ones may have too much growth coming out here. Uh, what's interesting is I have a Braba coming out. Quite a few Braba look like they're gonna pop. But uh, we're gonna come in here to all these different trees. This one right here, this limb kind of died back. Uh, we're gonna take out the growth we don't want. So this one right here, we're just gonna knock that off with our finger. This one right here. I mean, look how many limbs this is. There's so many new limbs that would have formed that we don't really want. We want the, the tree to kind of branch out from here, branch out from here, and then that's it. You know, I don't want too many limbs. I want maybe two, two limbs total for this. And what this is going to do, okay, guys, is that, you know, making sure we have less limbs than rather than more limbs is that we're going to get taller and thicker limbs. We're not going to get this really thin, straggly growth throughout the season. This really thin stuff won't put out figs. And you'll see a lot of people's trees that have just many of these little, little limbs coming out that really have no purpose at all. And they actually are a detriment, in my mind, to production. So that's kind of why we're doing this. We're going around to all the trees, trying to figure out which of these trees can handle what and which of them cannot. So this one as an example, this one has one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight growing points on this tree. This is a V pattern tree. At the most, we want three or four limbs to be coming out of this five gallon tree. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna be taking this off, taking this one off behind it back here. Um, I like this limb, I like this limb, I don't like this limb, and I don't like the one behind it. So right now we're gonna leave four and we're gonna see what happens. But this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about, guys, is making sure to have very thick limbs so that they can support those figs. And um, I think this is a compounding thing that's, if you do this now in the spring, rather than later when the limbs are larger, the energy has already been forced into those limbs, you're gonna be much better off. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. Again, one of the most important things you can do for your figs, and you can do this in the ground too, maybe a little bit more tedious depending on how large your tree, your tree gets, but uh, it's well worth it. And then you can also even send them in the direction that you want, which creates a better form, less disease. If you live somewhere where I do, where it's humid and you have rust problems, you know, having the right form is very important so anyway guys that's the tip i'll see you guys for the next one all right take care